Edo 2020 Obaseki campaigns at World 12 Oredo local government area. Okay, the people. The People's Governor Godwin Obaseki earlier today, over 2,000 of his supporters who came out to reinforce their support for his re-election in a carnival-like match termed the Umbrella March, addressing the crowd of mostly women and youths. The, gov the Governor thanked organizers of the campaign rally the Edo Voters Volunteers Assembly for mobilizing my supporters from across the 12 words in Oredo local government area of Edo State. All right, and he further appealed to the supporters not to partake in any act of criminality in the building up to the election but to report such to the authorities using a dedicated phone number. He also promised that upon his re-election, my government would perform better than in his first term as we would have succeeded in liberating Edo people from those who wish to take us back to ills of our past. And a lot of things have been said so far concerning this. Okay, and in case you don't know, Obaseki and people are saying that Obaseki all the way. We quite believe Obaseki in this aspect. Obaseki is our governor. Come the next election, September 2020. That is September 19, 2020 right now. But don't trust human beings. Well, we we don't trust human beings, but we trust Obaseki that he will surely do the right thing to make the people of Edo State smile. Wow, that is that. And the person that has been commenting this, his name is Martins Bassi Effiong. Okay, and... Uh, a lot of things has also been said so far. Well, meanwhile, and uh, meanwhile, it has been said that Obaseki resumes words to world campaign in at Sako Central. Well, we have people fighting us because they want to stop our our resolve to develop a uh, state, but we are ever ready to ensure the development train continues non-stop candidate of the pdp and governor of edo state mr gordon obaseki has resumed his word to word campaign for re-election all right and um, it is also said that the candidate of the people's democratic party pdp and governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, Chairman of the Edo State People Democratic Party PDP, Campaign Council Chief Dan Hobby, and Barrister Ken E. Maswagman during Obaseki's re election campaign rally in Ward 9 and Negbete at Sako Central Local Government Area of Edo State on Monday, August 10th vows to resist forces fighting to stop his people-centric project. The candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP and Governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, has resumed his word toward campaign for re-election as governor in the September 19 gubernatorial poll. Noting that he will vehemently resist forces fighting to stop his people centric projects in the state. And meanwhile, speaking at the palace of the Oliola of Anegbete in a Sako central local government area of the state, His Royal Highness HRH Ubodaga Yakubu. Governor Obaseki said he had come to seek prayers and support ahead 
of the election as he did for his first term and then according to him my visit to your palace is part of my electionary campaign this place is a traditional place for me you adopted me during my first electionary campaign you gave me your royal blessings and i won in the election i am here again to seek your blessings and support and i want to ensure you that anegbete will receive more developmental project in my second term despite the current economic challenges across the world also read use a do election to rebuild your tarnished image okay well that is another one and meanwhile he continued to say that we have we have people fighting us because they want to stop our resolve to develop a do state but we are very ready to ensure the development train continues non-stop you need to come out in masses vote and protect you vote your your vote to ensure we come out successfully in the election all right so we can continue on the path of development this election is all about progress on his part chairman of the edo people's democratic party campaign council chief dan obi accused the candidate of the apc osage ize iyamu as the one behind the collapse of Bendelbury and Edo Line, while he served as secretary to Edo State Government, he said Oshimole told us that the former secretary to state government, now APC candidate, liquidated Bendelbury and Edo Line, and the loan collected was mismanaged. He failed to keep to the repayment plan leading to the collapse of these companies. All right, and uh, a lot have been said so far. Well, that is a game of politics, uh, like I always say. And But the truth of the matter right now is that anything anybody is trying to say, be you an opposition party or the on the other way around, but one thing for sure is that this is a game of politics and everybody just needs to keep his game tight because there is no looking bad in the both of them campaigning contesting for this post are not ready to let loose and that is what we have seen so far may the good lord make this election a free and fair one that is our prayer well that is it my people but meanwhile let me have more takes from you on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.